so I know I was just here, but I had to go to Black Rose to pick something up. It is legitimately the hottest day of the year. It's almost 100 degrees and it's not even noon yet. So uh, this is probably gonna be a quick trip. Like I said, I was just here, but afterwards I think I'm gonna bop around to a couple local spots. It's miserable out here. ashtray at first but um, I think it's actually just part of a set although it could be an ashtray <laughs> hmm I feel oh they're separate yeah I was gonna say these don't look like they go together little geishas gosh those are so cheap it's like a dollar each it's crazy but I really wish it wasn't that um matte finish bisque material it's really not my thing whoa look at all these four dollars gosh i'm telling you this place has really stepped up their game recently it's definitely giving me a vibe that i just need to buy a bunch of it but i am gonna keep looking i need to come here more often it's like right by my house this plate set's kind of nice i like the color Four dollars for this set is pretty cheap. I'm gonna pass though. Seems like a lot of packing materials would be needed. Uh, Fisher Price telephones only two dollars. It's got a couple condition issues, but two dollars is really, really, really cheap. Yeah, I had a feeling that giant Amberina vase wasn't gonna make it through the weekend. I'm definitely not surprised. Not seeing really anything else in its place. A pink jewelry box it says with key. Let's see. Ooh, it's a little rough on the inside, and it doesn't have the ballerina. I was really hoping for a ballerina. Well, I just learned something different. Uh, I've been selling these, but I've never seen one one with the original tag um, now I know why all the colors kind of vary a little bit I didn't realize it was a barometer that's really interesting I'm kind of curious uh, if it's still at least somewhat accurate oh I kind of like this it's only six dollars it's a fun shape I'm not really sure what's going on with the chain though I don't see a spot to connect it to anything. Hmm, I might pick this up. This purse is kind of summery. I'm not so sure about the straps though. Uh, it's got a little bit of condition issues on the inside. It's super cheap, but between the condition issues and it's a little plain Janie. I think I'm gonna put it back. Let's see what this is. Jean Harlow. This is neat. Oh, cool movie star mug. Ah, it's one of those three face dolls. I'm obsessed with these. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think I've seen it in yellow. They're usually like a brown color. 15. That's about what I get for them after fees. Oh, but it's so cute. <laughs> oh man, I really love this, but it only leaves like a dollar or two for profit, unfortunately. I like the green. Uh, glass baskets really don't sell for me. I have one in red right now that's been sitting for a while. And this is priced at pretty much retail. Hmm, this booth doesn't usually run a sale. The prices are usually pretty reasonable, too. I'm even more tempted by this poodle now that it's only $4, but its head is completely repaired. This is so pretty. It's not normally my thing, but I love the colors. It's cobalt. Hmm. And then, of course, there's that vase that I liked. Hmm. I'm having a moment with this perfume bottle. 48 and 20%. It definitely weighs like 10 pounds. 
it is absolutely gorgeous so I'm tempted but it really just doesn't leave enough room for me to get too excited about it. It is Joe St. Clair but it's pretty close to retail. Um, these aren't what I thought they were. I thought they were like the lustro wear ones at first but they're plain. This is a fun tumbler set for the summer. Like the strawberries, fruit. $8 for the set, that's super cheap. Mm. I'm on the fence. This chain thing is really starting to get on my nerves. Uh, I've kind of lost interest. I'm gonna put it back. All right, on to my next stop. Ooh, I love the pink spaghetti poodles. 38. Even with the 50% off though, that's a little close for me. And I've had a lot of them recently. I'm gonna keep walking around, but I think I'm gonna double back and grab that little bisque doll with the pink hair. Uh, I love that. It's super cute. And you don't usually see them with pink hair. Here's another of those beautiful Tiffany blue pieces, but $30 is too high for resale. I'm having a little deja vu. Uh, last time I was here, I definitely bought this. There's actually a couple things in this case that I bought that have somehow managed to be replenished in identical form. Uh, I already sold the reindeer, but I think I'm gonna leave it this time. I love this little cowgirl print. Oh my gosh, so fun. That would make like so many great curtains or, I don't know, I wish it was my size almost. I would totally wear that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what? These monkeys are insane. I'm trying to like get it together. They're so realistic. They actually look really expensive. I'm gonna look them up. Yeah, so I wasn't wrong. They're $40 each after the discount and online they were selling anywhere from like 65 to 110. They're kind of like reborn dolls. I just, I'm a little creeped out. Yeah, so I found this exact one and that one seemed to be, with all its parts, seemed to be selling pretty well, but it's got a couple stains and quite frankly, it smells of baby powder, which is weird. Is this Roy Das? Hmm. Well, she's 50% off. She's super cute. These Roy, yeah, it is. These Roy Das banks honestly don't sell that well, but I've never seen this one and I really like the size. What about Raggedy Andy? I feel weird about it, but I'm gonna leave him and just go ahead and take her for six dollars. This little bride and groom figure is cute. I love that it's got the lace, but twelve dollars is definitely retail. Oh, she is sweet though. None of this was here last time. Squirrels are only two bucks. It's pretty cheap. Whoop. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> no harm, no foul. They are not my favorite, even though they're super cheap. I like the clowns, too. And the irons, but they're missing their plugs. Uh, they're supposed to have, like, an outlet that goes in the back. Otherwise, I would totally get those. Alright, I'm gonna get the key and get this little pink-haired bisque doll and then check out. <laughs> Yes, I know, I was just here too, but it's right there, and like I said, it's super hot today. I'm just running errands, so thought I'd bop in Penmar before I head back home. These little dolls are cute. This one's only $1.50, so cheap. I like the little polka dot dress, but this one in the heart dress is definitely speaking to me. Some of these plastic dolls can be a tough sell. Like, I've bought them a few times, and, um, they kind of stick around for a while, but the Valentine's Day theme one is definitely coming with me. Kind of like that cloth doll too. Hmm. What's this one? It's really unique. I think it's, is it a sachet doll? What is this? I know it's new, but <laughs> it's very appealing looking. I thought it was a lamp at first, but now I'm seeing it scented and I definitely 
don't need or want anything scented. Um, yes please to all of this. Well, this just made my whole trip worth it. Oh my gosh. 18 each. Fuzzy ceramics with the chain. That's a huge win. And both of these are harder to find. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and scoop both these up. Wow, absolutely adorable. I'm really excited about this. I don't even think I've seen the mice before and the cat's pretty hard to find with the pink fur making sure there's nothing else I didn't miss. It's definitely uh, been here since I've been here last. Uh, everything else looks... What is this? Are these bookends? Those are neat. Hmm. <laughs> what a goofy little sugar dog. This is kind of weird. $8 seems a little high though. I like the clown wind-up toy. I feel like usually I just see him with the Santa or the bunny rabbit. I'm missing his balloons on the bike though. I feel like I've picked this up before. It's missing the bottom, $10. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Oh, cheese bank. <laughs> Swiss banking, that's amazing. <laughs> but $15 is probably about what I'd sell it for. Plus, it's got a couple nicks. I like the celluloid button. It's really vivid. $24. They're all at, like, pretty much retail for sure. Hmm. Really pretty, though. It's this little frame. The frame itself is sweet, but uh, the prints are pretty low quality in it. Wow, that's gorgeous. With the lace, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with that. 18, hmm, it's a little close. I love convex glass frames too. Again, the colors on this are really vivid. 18, oh, too close, killing me. Oh. Cute little baby figurine. I'm so confused right now. Why are these nuns so cheap? The other ones are really expensive and I've been here for a long time. But these are really good sellers. They're Napco. But I don't understand why they're $3 each. I feel like I'm missing the fact that they're repaired or something. They look in good condition. I don't know, but for $3 each, I'm just gonna go ahead and get them. Oh, I'm obsessed with the pink opalescent hobnail. I actually have like a huge vase like this in my house. Glass baskets really don't sell well for me, but if this was a little bit less, I would definitely make an exception because this color is phenomenal and I don't see it every day. It's so pretty. I don't remember these being here. $12 firm. Doesn't leave a lot of room. Whoa. As is. Oh, it's really repaired. And that's, honestly, that's the real reason why I don't buy a lot of these angels. They're either like super common or really repaired. I know the head vase is repop, but I usually check them out anyway, uh, just in case they're really, really cheap. There's no price tag on that though, so I'm not really seeing anything else. Ooh, that's really pretty, even though it's clear glass, I like the kind of rainbow hint to it. Yikes, that doll is horrific. <laughs> so scary. Man, I love a good creepy doll, but that one's got some real energy. I ran out of, uh, sold out of these, but 25 is super high. Well, that was successful. Now on to the less fun shopping, like the grocery store and tractor supply.